Hello YouTubers, today's video is part 3, installation of the new water tank. Now in order to uh, remember where everything goes as far as the sensors for the water tank, I matched up the wires based on how they were broken off. I could tell that this one had the green, the yellow, by the way it was broken off, was on the bottom. Uh, the red, which was actually still attached to the original connector, but that had pulled out, went to right here. So by the just simple, you know, elementary deductions, I was able to determine that the white one goes right here. And so because of this was so badly damaged, I had to go ahead and reorder uh, an entire new harness. That I got right through Amazon. It was only about $5 and I had it within a day. Now when I received the new tank, I went ahead and I marked each one of the points for the harness on your sensors uh, with a Y, a W, a G, and an R just so it matches on the old one. And then this is going to be the new harness, which I'll be installing uh, just before I put the tank back onto the camper. After wrapping uh, the, the connector with the thread seal, I went ahead and I installed both of these connectors in the spots where they're supposed to go to. And as I said before, the other one is going to be down here on the bottom. After installing the top two connectors, uh, doing the same thing with those, wrapping them with thread uh, tape, and then tightening them down by hand, and then cinching them up a little bit with uh, a, a pair of uh, channel locks, and then backing them up just a shade, just so that the nozzles or the other the other end of the connector for the hose fittings are both parallel but facing on an angle so one doesn't interfere with the other one. After that I installed the, the major water uh, line connector and that doing again the same th sort of thing. This one was the original which I was able to salvage. I just cleaned up the threads and then rewrapped it with thread tape. Now the hoses I was able to salvage just cleaned them up and then I also picked up some more clamps, hose clamps, and those I just lightly set them on uh, the ends and tighten them down a little bit with a quarter inch, uh, quarter inch driver. Um, three eighths wrench wrench, that's going to be used with my harness to connect it to the sensors. And again, these are the broken connectors that I had. This last one is going to be going on the bottom of the primary tank. And again, I'll just tighten that down and with uh, channel locks and then back it up a little bit. Now I've attached all the wires to the correct terminals. And then I simply just tighten them down with a 3 8 open end wrench. Not too much so that they'll strip the heads off. I'll probably go back later on once I'm, in, once I'm assured that the connections are made properly and I made contact with the monitor, I'll go back and treat them with a little bit of uh, coating to protect them from rusting. So now basically the tank is all ready to go back on into the camper. Now, after doing some further checking, uh, I checked the print, and these two here 
happens to be these two lines here, which are just drain hoses. So I've gone ahead and I've made the connection on those. Now I hope you can see this, but right here, that's my connector for the low point drain on the primary tank. And I've just made that connection. Just to show that I already did it, uh, that is for the lower drain, uh, for the low point drain on this particular tank. I've already made the connection on uh, the primary tank. So she's all set and she's basically all set and ready to go. This line here is well be connected to the other tank. That's the low point drain for the secondary tank. It's probably gonna be one of the last ones that I connect. In the meantime, I've sent my wife to the hardware store to get some replacement fasteners, or one replacement fastener that was totally destroyed. And let's see if I can, yeah, there you can probably see it. It's the same as what this one is right here. I can't see it with my finger there. Let's see if I can move it up here a little bit. There we go. That's gonna be this one right here. So it's a thread cutting screw with a hex head. It's already pre-drilled. Hopefully that'll work. If it doesn't, I'm sure I could probably use a carriage bolt uh, with the round head on the top so it doesn't damage uh, the tank. So uh, it does look a little bit strange on the bottom down here. Like I don't know if it's had too much weight or what the thing, what the deal is, or if it's just natural. But uh, these brackets look a little bit different, so. <laughs> but I think they're gonna be all right. I think what I'm gonna do as a precaution is use a tie-down strap and wrap that uh, between the two supports, this one and the one on the other side, uh, just to give it a little bit of added security. So. Uh, it'll take some of the pressure, the weight uh, distribution from the other straps. On the other side of the trailer, which is the left side of the trailer, you can see the three hoses that connect to the secondary tank from the primary tank. The two small ones, which are about three eighths, those connect at the top at the two fittings I installed. And then the one big one that connects at the bottom of the secondary tank, and uh, that's to that large fitting. Now I think for the rest of the installation part, I'm not gonna be showing too much as far as what I'm gonna be doing. It's just gonna be too awkward to move the camera around. Uh, you can see one of the straps straight back there. That's, uh, that'll kind of swing over and help hold the other uh, tank up. But like I was saying, I'm not going to try to uh, uh, record everything that I'm gonna be doing down here until after I complete the installation and then I'll show you uh, the steps I took or the final connections. Okay, you can see where I've made the connections there. Let me get that focus in a little bit better for you. There's the bottom connection. I double clamped it uh, right at the end. And then there's my two connections at the top that goes to the main tank. So both these connections are going to the primary tank. And this is hooked up to the secondary. I've got the straps all up. You can see it down there to the other side. Get her back in focus there. And so, seems like she's holding water. I'm filling it right now as we speak. Okay, there's my drain connections. I've made my wire connections up here. And uh, that's all tied off. And I will be putting caps on my exposed connection like right there for my power supply. I've already checked the water 
and that seems to be doing pretty good. I'm not leaking anything at all. So the other one's right over here. So everything everything seems to be doing pretty good. It's filling up rather well. Fresh water is filling up. Indicator showing right now I'm about two thirds full. So bit another good sign. Turned on the water pump. And we got water running in the kitchen. Go back here. Sink, of course a shower will work. And toilet's working. So I can say that this uh, repair has been done and is done complete. And it is a success. Well, if you can see by the streams, the overflow is working fine. So after everything is all tested out, everything seems to be working pretty good. The only thing that I'm gonna be doing, I don't know if you can see it from this angle, or I'll see if I have another uh, shot that I can cut in, but I've got some straps to reinforce uh, that tank because the metal straps, one of them doesn't seem to be holding very well. Might have to reinforce that, put a couple of nuts on the bottom of the, of the bolts, which were originally self-threading. So, but I think the frame has been bit damaged or bent to the point where the threads won't hold any longer. But other than that, everything else all checks out. No leaks, everything is functioning properly. I just got a couple little tie-ups to do, little loose ends, and we will be all done and to be ready for Grand Haven for next week. I hope this installation process was informative for you, or at least I hope it was somewhat entertaining. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And most of all, thanks for watching.